Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my favourites for the month of April and I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a giveaway in this video so stay tuned if you're excited for that and if you want to see what my favourites are. So for this month I actually had two favourite movies so they were Captain America 2 and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. They're both superhero movies which is kind of weird. They're the only two movies that I think that I saw this month but they were both really really good. I definitely recommend that you check them out if you guys like action-y superhero type movies. I don't know, I really really like them. And yeah, I don't think I saw any others, so they were definitely my favourite. So my favourite TV shows for the month were just pretty much standard. It was just Arrow, and I started watching Bones again, which I should have been doing from the start. My favourite game for the month, I haven't really been playing that many games this month. The only favourite has been a new one that I got, which is Pokemon Battle Troze, or in New Zealand it's called Pokemon Link Battle. It's basically just a puzzle game, and I've really, really been enjoying that. But other than that, I really have not been gaming that much. I've just been watching a lot of YouTube, really. And just hanging out with friends and family and stuff. So the next favourite is my favourite accessory of the month. And it's this bag right here. It is absolutely amazing. If you guys saw my week in the life or vlog for a week or whatever I called it. Video, it's basically, this was the one that I mentioned. And it's amazing. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's from everme.co.nz. And I'm actually in love with it. And the best thing about this bag is that. The company got in contact with me, he was just talking to me about it, sent me the bag which I'm actually obsessed with, it's a really really nice quality bag, it's got a hard bottom, um, if you want to see what's in my bag I can totally do that, but they contacted me and they've actually named the bag after me and my YouTube channel, so this is called the X Love Loves Tote which is amazing, it's like, it's crazy, it's like a massive honour. So now that you guys have seen that bag, you've seen one of the bags that is on Evermee's website. We are basically doing a giveaway together, me and either me, so you guys can win your very own bag. It doesn't necessarily have to be the one that I just showed you, it can be any of the ones on their website. All you need to enter is just to check the rules down below, because I'm going to rewrite them down there just in case I miss anything, so make sure you check those first. You need to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, that you like the Evermee Facebook page, that you like my Facebook page, and that's it for the requirements really. You just need to obviously, if you're under 18, make sure you have parental permission, all of that usual giveaway jazz and then you just need to go and have a look through the Evermi website and pick your favourite bag, write the style down below and yeah, that's basically everything and you'll be in to win. This giveaway is going to go on for a full three weeks and then I will be drawing the winner randomly and then I'll get in contact with you via YouTube, double check that it's my username and all that jazz but I will be getting in contact with you through YouTube to get your address to give to Evermi so you can get your bag. So that's it for the giveaway portion. Let's get on to my beauty favourites. So I have two hair related favourites this month. The first of which is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. You guys know, I shouldn't even need to mention this anymore. But I have a new scent so I wanted to talk to you guys about it. This is the Sassy and Daring Wild scent. And it smells divine. I absolutely am obsessed with it. It is just, it smells really chocolatey and cocoa-y and delicious. I really really like it and obviously this is like the best dry shampoo you can buy in my opinion and in a lot of other people's opinion this is kind of like fan favourite and it's not actually too expensive. I would pay probably a multitude of different prices for this because it is a really really great dry shampoo. My next favourite is by Kerastase and it is the Chromothermic Thermo Shine Thermo Radiance Protecting Milk and it just is in a pink bottle it's a kind of like not like a serum but like a moisturising cream type dealio and what it's basically supposed to do is it's supposed to protect your hair from thermal stuff <laughs> today's not working for me from heat tools and stuff like that and it actually is really really nice it's a leave-in product so you put it in when your hair is wet or you can do it dry I just put some in before because I'm about to straighten my hair but anything like that really really this is pretty much the perfect product for it is just very very nourishing and very light as well which is what I like about it. If you guys have any other hair product recommendations please let me know down below because I am looking to try more things. My next favourite is a NARS product and I'm just going to kind of pick randomly through my favourites because I have a lot to talk about this month. So the first is NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of this bronzer. It is probably like the world's most famous bronzer. I don't even know if that's a proper statistic but I'm saying it right now. It's just really really nice. It's a, I would say it's quite a warm bronzer. It's not orangey but it kind of has like a, a natural tan look to it. It's not like cold, cool toned and grey. It's just very very pretty. It's got a slight shimmer through it but it doesn't really transfer onto the face. Coincidentally today's the only day 
in the past month that I'm not wearing it, but I have really, really been loving it. It is very expensive. Um, if you buy it in New Zealand, I think it's about $90, but I got it from Sephora for, I think, $38 or something, or $40, which really isn't that extreme compared to MAC pricing, and I'm fairly sure that this... This is an 8 gram pan, so I'm fairly sure this will last me like a lifetime. So my next favourite is my Kmart Liquid Face Primer. I have two primers to show you today. This one I used for the first two thirds of the month, and the other one I used for the last third, but they definitely both need a mention. So this one is a Soothing Hydrating Skin Perfecting Primer. This I think would be good for anyone with dry to normal skin. I think if you have oily skin, the fact that it is, ooh, just dropped it, really, really like lotion-y may not really mix well with your skin. But it smells amazing. It's supposed to have rose hip in it. And it goes into the skin literally like a face. Moisturizer, very, very lightweight. And I feel like it does actually prolong the wear of my makeup, which is awesome. Because I feel like some primers just don't work. But this is only like $9, so you guys may as well try it if you guys are looking for a primer that's hydrating. Because this is just beautiful and it's $9, so you really can't go wrong because it's only $9. Did I say that enough? It's $9. While we're talking about primers, I thought I'd just chuck in the other one. This is the Bare Minerals Primetime Original. This primer is pretty much the opposite of that. This is a silicone primer, which is very, very... It's very slippy. Like, you put it on your skin and you could just sort of, like... I don't even know. Like, skateboard on it? I don't even know. <laughs> what? I say the dumbest shit sometimes. Anyway, it's a very, very slippy primer and... I really like it. I think that it helps my makeup stay on really well. It just makes my makeup glide onto my face. To go with that primer, I'm kind of doing like segues into everything. I've got this Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I got the two in a set for like $35 or something. It was an amazing, amazing deal. And this foundation is in the color Fairly Light. This is a mineral foundation, mineral powder foundation. And I got this from Sephora also, but you can get this from Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca Maxima if you're in Australia. But I absolutely am obsessed with this. This is amazing. I apply this with a uh, buffing brush by Real Techniques. And it just goes on like nothing is on my face. I get the tiniest, like, it looks like I've got the tiniest amount of coverage. But it gives me more, like, light to medium coverage. I feel like it covers my skin. I'm not wearing it today, of course, just conveniently. Uh, it does cover up my skin really, really nicely. You can still see my freckles through. It starts to cover up the redness, starts to cover up the blemishes. My under eyes are pretty much concealed when I use this because my under eyes aren't that bad. But I feel like it just does everything so well for what it is. It's just a really, really nice lightweight foundation. It literally looks like you have no makeup on your face, at least when you've just got this on it. It just looks... Perfect. My next favourite is the Horror Lip Balm. This one is in Coconut. I got this from She Lives Cruelty Free, which I will leave linked off down below along with Evamie's website. I am obsessed with this. This is probably... I'm going to just go ahead and like smash down my favourite lip balm, which is Burt's Bees. I'm going to say this is better than Burt's Bees. I just really, really love this lip balm. It is an interesting shape, which to me helps me get it on faster because it's not like small. I don't know. It's probably the stupidest stack ever, but I... I just love what this brand stands for. It's supposed to be like vegan and cruelty free and all that sort of jazz and raw and all that kind of thing. And it is actually a really nice thin, it's a very, very thin lip balm. So if you like a thicker lip balm, this is not for you. They have this in like a bajillion flavours. Like I literally think they have like 30 or 40 flavours. I'm going to go ahead probably after this video and buy a couple more. I really want the mint one because if you guys know me, you know that I love mint scented and like tasting things. So... Yeah, for the price that you pay, I think these are maybe like six dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they are actually really inexpensive. My next favourite is a makeup remover, and this is the Maybelline Total Clean Express Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. This is a separated oil-based remover. I don't even know if it has oil in it, but surely it does. I always thought this meant that they had oil in it because it was separated. Anyway, this does leave a little bit of an oily residue around the eye area. But I feel like no matter which one of these I use, they all leave an oily residue. Um, this one, however, is the best that I found for removing my The Real Mascara. The The Real, the, 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 the Real Mascara is basically like a cockroach. It, if you dropped a nuclear bomb on it, it would not die. Like this mascara is like waterproof more than anything in the entire world. I don't even know. It's I don't even know how it's possible. But it's ridiculous. But this makeup remover gets it off really, really well. I do have to do a little bit of kind of, not necessarily scrubbing, but a little bit of rubbing. 
um, maybe like some sort of pinching it off but this does not hurt my eyes I do not have to scrub to the extent that I hurt my eyeballs which is what the Neutrogena was like for me uh, this is just really great and it's very very affordable I think it might be cheaper than the Neutrogena one it's definitely not that expensive and Maybelline is always on special at like farmers and the warehouse and stuff so definitely definitely recommend this makeup remover my next favorite is another high-end favorite the, actually the next three are I have quite a few high-end favorites this month I hope you guys don't mind but this one is the naked 3 palette and I'm not going to talk too much about this because I want to do a tutorial on it please let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that it was the makeup that I was wearing in my birthday haul but you guys all really really liked it so I thought I'd do a tutorial but this is just what it looks like if you guys have been living under a rock it's just a really beautiful warm pink toned rosy hued eyeshadow palette and it's so up my alley and I've never been so happy and had no shopper's guilt for a product before other than this this one was a perfect perfect choice for me and definitely worth the price point my next two favorites are lash related the first one is Revitalash I can't believe that I haven't mentioned this before because I've been using this for like, I want to say two, three months, I don't even remember. I should have like wrote it down but I didn't. Uh, this is the Revitalash Advanced and this has worked so well. I get questions all the time in real life on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, here, asking me about my eyelashes and they are real. I just swear by this stuff. I feel like it really, really has helped my lashes. If not by length, by thickness and just strength. I do think they have grown longer. They've definitely grown thicker. They've grown stronger. They don't kind of, if I was to pull on them right now, I feel like none of them would come out. And also, I feel like they've actually grown, started to grow a little bit curlier. Um, I naturally have pretty curly lashes. I don't point down at least. Maybe they kind of point up. I don't know. But my lashes are not droopy originally by any means but a lot of the time now my eyelashes seem to be curly when I wake up in the morning I don't know if it's because I'm like smushing them and making them go curly but they never used to be this curly this often this is an investment that I'm willing to make because it is such a great product um, and I'm definitely keen to see what this does for my lashes as I keep to use it and my final favorite is by MAC and this was one of my birthday gifts but I've had this for 10 days so it's cool it's been long enough um, and this is the MAC in Extreme Extra Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. I think that's the name. Unsure. It's quite a ridiculously long name for a product. If you guys wanted to see my birthday haul, I'll leave it linked off down below. But anyway, this mascara, its wand is a hybrid between the CoverGirl Lash Blast and the Benefit The Real. I'm having a moment. And I would definitely say that the formula is very very comparable to the Benefit The Real Mascara which is my favourite mascara. This one is definitely up there as well, it's probably my favourite or second favourite. Uh, the main difference that I can see between the two mascaras is that this is not waterproof which for some of you guys will be like a godsend. And the only other thing that I can say is that sometimes when you unscrew this bottle um, there's like big clumps on the wand, I don't know if you can actually see that you can from this distance, there's big clumps on it which to be honest isn't really that big of a deal but sometimes I forget and I go to start doing my mascara and I've literally got a massive uni lash from the clumps. If you guys know how to stop that from happening other than just wiping off the wand which can be kind of tedious please let me know but that is definitely not a break it factor for me. I think this is really great and I think it's at the same sort of price point as the Benefit The Real, which I think is $54 so it is a little bit more pricey but I really really like this and I don't think I found a drugstore mascara that is quite as good as this or the benefit one. So that's everything for this month you guys. I really hope you enjoyed these favourites. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Do check down below for the rules and the website and all of that jazz. And yeah, feel free to comment down below if you have any more questions or any requests or anything like that. But that's everything that I have to say today guys. I hope you all have a really great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!